Well, hey, everybody, it's Tom again. So bad news for Republicans in Arizona. Words that you wouldn't think would ever be uttered more than 20 years ago. But here we are. 2024, the Senate race in Arizona between Ruben Gallego and crackpot Carrie Lake. Uh Larry Sabato from the University of Virginia Center for Politics, who is a widely acclaimed uh, political scientist, pollster, people that know, one of the people that knows what's going on, that's on CNN, that's on Fox, he's everywhere. Uh, Well-regarded guy. He said on Wednesday that he has moved his rating toward Democrats in Arizona, including Gallego against Carrie Lake. Uh, because of the increased importance of abortion rights, women's reproductive rights, following the court decision uh, in Arizona, the Supreme Court, which basically reinstated a 19th century abortion ban back to 1864. That's the law of the land right now in Arizona. So if you want to get an abortion in Arizona, um, you can't <laughs> right now because of an 1864 law. So uh, Gallego is not facing any opposition for the Democratic nomination for the seat vacated by Senator Kirsten Sinema, uh, independent now, former Democrat, who is not running for re-election. Uh, Gallego will likely face former Arizona GOP gubernatorial nominee and former newsreader, Carrie Lake, who has consolidated Republican support behind her candidacy. Um, she is a election denier from 2020 and believes that the 2022 gubernatorial election was stolen from her as well. Uh, the race is expected to be close, amazingly. Just keep in mind, though, Arizona has a Democratic governor and two Democratic United States senators currently. So it is, uh, if you want to count cinema who was elected as a Democrat anyway. Uh, Sabato has a thing called the crystal ball. <laughs> he says it now sees Democrats as a slight favorite to win the seat, the Senate seat. Uh, more fuel was added to the ongoing national debate over abortion rights. This is according to The Hill today, following the overturning of the Roe versus Wade uh, decision when the Arizona Supreme Court last week upheld an 1864 state law that makes illegal Abortion illegal except to save the life of the mother. No exceptions for rape or incest. Um, if you get an abortion right now, your physician could face felony charges punishable by two to five years in prison. Both Gallego and Lake, along with several other Arizona politicians from both parties, have issued statements opposing the ruling, but definitely the Republicans have caught the car, so to speak on this issue and they are faced with a uh increasingly agitated electorate out there that's saying wait a minute women's reproductive rights have basically gone back to 1864 that's about 50 years before arizona was even a state uh you may remember in 1864 lots of other things were illegal including slavery it was during the civil war so we're we're at civil war era laws in the state of Arizona right now. Um, it is really heating up out there. And these these elections are going to be decided by some of these rulings, by some of these crackpot rulings about abortion, about women's rights, uh, about bans on books, about bans on LGBTQ people. The presidential election is going to be decided by these things as well. So uh, Gallego is doing well in Arizona as far as the um the election itself uh, but we will see we will see he is a current house member he is a current uh, house representatives member from Arizona and uh Carrie Lake is nothing she's a former broadcaster for um news 12 in uh, Phoenix Phoenix area so she has um, also had aspirations to be vice president. That may not happen if she's um, involved in this in this actual um, senatorial debate. So let me know what you think. If you are from Arizona, first of all, I'm sorry that this happened. Uh, I lived there for eight years in the 90s, 
and uh, it was a significantly more conservative time back then. We did have John McCain. We did have um, Dennis DeConcini was a was a senator from Arizona back then as a Democrat. Uh, but it is uh, times have changed in Arizona as Phoenix and Tucson have grown to be significantly more democratic and significantly more populated. Phoenix is now the fifth largest city in the United States. So um, a lot of former Californians there, a lot of people from the East Coast, a lot more blue voters in Arizona right now. So um, I have picked in my electoral chart, um, electoral map, I have picked Arizona to go blue simply because of uh, the popularity of Democratic candidates. The state legislature is more Republican. So um, if you for gerrymandering reasons. If you look at the entire state, which is what the Senate race is, and the presidential race, it's going to go blue. So those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any other videos you would like me to do about your state, please let me know um, and subscribe if you haven't, and we will see you on the next one.